Good morning guys. I decided that I was going to vlog today because um, I'm going to the Prego Expo. So I thought it would be a fun thing to vlog. So I am um, just cleaning up the kitchen a little bit and making quick breakfast for the girls and um, lunch and stuff for them and for me, snacks and things, so that I have something to eat while I'm there. Um, yeah, so anyways, I'm doing that. My makeup's almost done. <laughs> I haven't finished my eyes, but that will just have to happen in a minute because I have to leave. Like, I've got to get these kids breakfast and um, get going. So anyways, welcome to my day at the Prego Expo. <laughs> Okay, I just dropped off the girls, and I am heading out of our neighborhood. It's gonna take me about 30 minutes to get where I'm going. So, here we go. Okay guys, so I made it here. Um, just wanna tell you like a little bit about what my plans are for the day um, while I do my makeup. So, yeah. Oh, there's a pregnant lady. <laughs> um, so I was looking at the Prego Expo and really wanted to go. And so I was following it on Facebook. Apparently I can't do eyeliner and talk at the same time. Um, so I was following the Prego Expo on Facebook and they put out a call for volunteers. And if you volunteered, you got a free, uh, VIP ticket and also a, um, general admission ticket. So I applied. I sent in all my stuff, all my information and they picked me as one of the volunteers um so that is how I'm getting in today is I am actually getting in for free because I'm volunteering it's like my life I volunteer everywhere <laughs> all the time um and then my general admission ticket is going to be used by my friend Ashley so she's gonna meet me here later today um, so my shift is the morning shift and then um, she's going to meet me here when I get off of the morning shift um, I parked just a couple of blocks away so I do have to walk so I really kind of need to <laughs> hurry my butt up I have 15 minutes my walks probably gonna take me five and then finding where I need to be and where I gotta go and all that kind of stuff, so. Oh, and I'm sweaty. Why am I sweaty already? It's only 62 degrees out. Ugh, pregnancy. So anyway, so I'm gonna finish up my makeup really quick and then uh, I will film the Prego Expo. <laughs> done with the Prego Expo so I'm going to start driving home and I will show you guys what I got when I get there. Okay so this is all of it. All the coupons, all the samples and like I said I um, 
volunteered. So our bags, I guess, were missing a couple of things because things got lost in transit or whatever. So the actual swag bags contained a, um, a package of Huggies diapers too. So that's all that. They actually gave us, us two of these and kind of, hang on, I'm gonna sit down. Oh, okay. I'm kind of actually really excited about trying these. They actually, it looks pretty cool. So it's not a breast pump, it's just um, some accessories. So it contains adapters, a breast milk pouch, um, the feeding bottle, and the nipple. So how this works is, okay, so I'm gonna try to do this and keep it in frame. Okay, so here's your bottle and you would put your breast milk bag inside of it with the lid still on, by the way. And then right here in the top, you can see there's a little notch and there's a notch in the front and the back side of the bag. And you just click that right in. And see, that's why you wanna keep the lid on. <laughs> so you click that right in and then it has this, which I really like the little case for it too, which is so cute. But this is the actual nipple. And then you just push that and you just pop that right in. So now you have like a full bottle and you're feeding straight out of the breast milk bag. So I thought that was actually really cool. I'm kind of really excited about this actually. Um, I guess it really just depends on if Noah ends up liking the nipple. Anyways, I feel like this is just like a really good system. It's just, yes, I dig it. I like it a lot. So we got two of those in the swag bag. Forgot to show those, sorry. Okay, so moving on to the stuff I got at Booth's and that I purchased. So this is the only thing that I actually purchased. These are recycled from milk jugs. So this one... And it's by a company called Replay. And they have them in like all different colors. Let's see if they have those. There we go. In all different colors, which is really cute. But they use recycled milk jugs to make them, which I think is really cool. So they're like, you know, a more sustainable, environmentally friendly company, which I think is really awesome. So there's that. And they say that I saved 10 milk jugs from the landfill. <laughs> so what I got, and this was, this whole set was $10. So this is a little snack container. So it's got two compartments, little teething toy, um, little teething keys. And then right in there is a little infant spoon which I thought was really cool that had the little case. And then this is just a toddler plate, fork, spoon, and a no-spill sippy cup, which I'm a sucker for things that are actually no-spill. <laughs> and they had one of these filled with water at the expo, and she like shook it around and looked like it did pretty good. So all of this, this little starter pack was $10. And so I love the company. I think that that's just an awesome idea. The only thing is I wish that their stuff was just a little bit cuter. <laughs> That sounds horrible, but this like this reminds me of like 70s Tupperware. Is it not? But they're all like stackable, which is cool. But like even that texture, I don't know. I'm funny. Anyways, ten dollars on that. And then the rest of this stuff, I just got like brochures and oh, this stuff is pretty cool. Simply peanut. So they say that the earlier you introduce peanuts to your child, the less of a chance they have of being allergic to them. So this is um, actually something that you mix in with their, um, with their food. Twice a day, three times a week. That's what it says. And it's supposed to help. <laughs> and then just some other little... Oh, this one was pretty cool. This little arm pillow. I actually kind of liked that. I just didn't want to spend $35 on it. Make it myself. Uh, Simply Peanut stuff. And yeah, so just some other... Oh, this one was really cool. The Wiggle Bib. 
So it's to strap your kids like to a cart because most of the time <laughs> the little clips are broken to begin with or like in a high chair. So I thought that was actually pretty cool. I dig that. And just some more coupons, coupons, yada yada. Then from the Enthamel table, I got just one little pack of um, newborn formula. I'm planning on breastfeeding, but I figured it wouldn't be a bad idea to have something around just in case. And then here's another bottle. Like, so see, it has a little binky on the inside. So binky and a bottle, which is nice. I have a bunch of bottles now. Um, Dr. Brown's, Avent, uh, this brand, Ma'am, Mom, Ma Name. Mm. <laughs> I can't pronounce anything. And apparently screwing on a lid with one hand is really hard to do, not doing it crooked. Oh my gosh. I can do it. I can do it. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> so there's that. Um, from Lilla Baby, I just got just their little handout bag, which has like a coupon code in it and some um, inserts, some... Just little cards about their different kinds of carriers. And I'm pretty set. I'm pretty sure I'm going to order a Lilla Baby complete all season. Because <laughs> we do live in Colorado. So it does get pretty cold in the wintertime, obviously, if it's snowing. But in the summertime, it also gets really, really hot um, up in the hundreds. 90s, hundreds is normal to get up to in the summer. So I'm thinking the all season. I think I found the pattern that I want. So I just need to use my coupon code and order that. And then <laughs> from the surrogacy table, I got these. <laughs> oh God, I'm laughing so hard because Mia, my oldest, found this in the bag. She took it out and she's like, mom, what's this? And I just didn't have an answer prepared for the moment. So, and then this is lip balm. So this is supposed to be like the egg. This bag, which came with, um, all of this stuff so this is all replay so with your purchase you got the little bag I also got this shirt for volunteering I'm so prego um, I've already actually washed it though and the pee is totally cracking and they were selling these and so I'm like I'm really glad that I didn't actually purchase one I would have probably been pretty upset if I had actually purchased this shirt and it had so you can see all that, like look at how bad that is. That's after one wash. And none of the rest of the letters are like that. So you can see. So that one just did not get cured properly. Okay guys, so that's it. That was the Prego Expo. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to follow along with the rest of my pregnancy or homeschooling or anything else that I choose, to post on this channel, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!